is the voice of disruption. Growth hacking, hurricanes, and biosecurity. That's just a few of the topics on today's show. I'm Ken Rakowski, and you are part of the voice of disruption. We'll take you on a journey of what's disrupting our planet, from people to things to ideas. Every show is all about you, meaning you can do these things. You can learn about these things. So here on Voice of Disruption, we bring you unique guests that are doing incredible things. Today, we'll talk about the whole idea of growth hacking. How do you grow your business? How do you take it to a whole new level. Vin Clancy is going to join us and he gives us some great tips on things you can do in your own business. And later on, Christine Parakis is going to join us, an amazing individual that has survived two, yes, two Category 5 hurricanes and she's here to hang out with us. And then Andy Abramson, he's going to help us understand what's going on when it comes to Google, Netflix, and some of the biggest companies on the planet and how they're changing real time because they're going through disruption. Again, voice of disruption, Ken Rakowski. You know, I've been doing this a long time. And what's this? Well, just talking over the internet. I started the whole idea of the podcast back in the mid 90s because I saw radio as dead. Radio, for some reason, could not show new signs of life. Radio really hasn't changed much since its inception because right now radio is a passive mechanism of listening. If you're listening right now on radio, you're just sitting back and listening. But if you're watching this on YouTube or if you're experiencing it on your mobile device, you could do multiple things all at the same time. It's an interactive experience. So when I looked at what radio could become, which is streaming over the internet, I saw an opportunity of disruption. See, disruptions all around us all the time. I would suggest that if we think different, we experience different. See, back in 1936, when Buster Crab popped onto our black and white TVs, he allowed us to see the world differently. Who? Buster Crab, Flash Gordon. One of the first sci-fi TV shows ever to be broadcasted, people said, wow, this is what the future could look like. And of course, TV shows like Star Trek and Battlestar Galactica, Space Odyssey allowed us to dream beyond our limitations. And that's what it takes. It takes us to see the future so we could change the present. See, disruption's the concept of making things different, challenging its purpose of today. So what's disruptive today? I would say three things are red hot, at least in my mind. One is cryptocurrency. You may have heard of Bitcoin. Another is something called CRISPR, which is a new form of medicine and design. And last is Hyperloop. Imagine traveling between point A and point B in fractions of time. So let's talk about the first one, that's cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, there's about 20,000 cryptocurrencies that are floating around the world today. And they challenge the traditional currency of today, the dollar, the euro, the rupiah. It challenges it because we go from a physical form of monetary dollars and cents to virtual. We challenge it because every single currency is trackable. There's a general ledger that allows us to know where the cash flow is. We've never seen this before. And we're at its infancy. Only a handful of people in the world today are even touching cryptocurrencies. Pay attention to that. Next is CRISPR. CRISPR is this long acronym that basically says we can take current DNA, fold it, Photoshop it, and make it used to our purposes. Make it so we can benefit from it. So imagine somebody that has cystic fibrosis and finding a cure for them real time specifically for them. And last is the Hyperloop. Elon Musk mentioned this concept that's actually been around for almost a century. Traveling at the speed of sound, that's 700 miles an hour, from point A to point B. So San Francisco to Los Angeles in 15 minutes of time. Now all of these technologies exist because of three simple words. And these words are something you could apply to yourself so you could have disruption on your own. You ready? It's knowledge, courage, action. Elon Musk uses these three words to himself all the time. Jeff Bezos from Amazon does the same thing. Knowledge, courage, action. And I want you to look at these words and apply them to yourself. First, knowledge. When you have the knowledge of what's out there, it gives you the opportunity to know what needs to be disrupted. Knowledge. Knowledge also allows you to know what's out there as in challenges or barriers or limitation. Once you have the proper knowledge, it gives you the courage to say, I can do it. I can step forward. I can change the planet. And of course then, action. Go, 
start, move forward. Imagine Steve Jobs on that pivotal moment in 2007 when he stood in front of the world and said, this phone is about to change everything. He was talking about the iPhone. And certainly the iPhone wasn't the best product, but it was a disruptive product. It changed everything of how we see a phone today. Sure, it may have been copied, replicated, but the iPhone set a standard of what real disruption is. Steve did knowledge, courage, action to move forward. By applying this to yourself, you can be disruptive. So every type of technology that you see out there, applying those three terms, and this includes yourself, disrupting yourself, you need to always have the knowledge to get the courage to take the action to move forward. Every change maker on the planet does this. There's no luck involved because it's all around preparation to move forward. So when you look at some of the biggest disruptors on the planet, you might think of Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, Jack Ma. They are there because they have enough knowledge to give them the courage to move their company forward to take the action. Because it does take preparation. So on our guest today, they have that knowledge, that courage, that action. And I want you to realize that you are in that place where you can do it yourself too. So today on Voice of Disruption, we'll be looking at knowledge, courage, action with our guests. We'll be talking to Vin Clancy, we'll be talking to Christine Prakis and Andy Abramson. I want you to hang out with us, join us, be part of this journey. I'm Ken Rakowski. When we come back, Vin Clancy is going to join us right here on The Voice of Disruption.